before you see what we've got up to today, this was last night. Just on top of the bridge because Andrew's going to come past with a load of straw in a minute. He said it might make a good video. So I'm just waiting for him. There he comes. Find a minute for the camera. And then across the road quick. There he is. The beacon doesn't flash very quick, it'd be better flashing a bit faster because it looks a little like an indicator. Sunset again, still. A few wagons in the yard before 8 this morning. Before 7 actually, sorry. Oil sea rape shed is starting to fill up now, we're filling the corners. So it's just a case of keep shoving it and shoving it. There's about 2,500 ton in now, or 2.2 two maybe. There's quite a few wagons already in the yard this morning. It gets a bit awkward when we're in the doorway, but we did get a 20 odd foot door put in. I think it's 26 foot so that we can still get it out the back of the wagons as it drives out the door. There we go, comes out a little bit easier. The sugar beet pellets we stored the other year. It's just uh, only just sort of big enough this telly on there really to manage this pusher. But if we had a bigger telly on there, it'd only then do a week's worth of big work a year. So we just hopefully manage with this one. It's just shoving it up nicely now, anyway. I'm going to check this oil seed rape. Someone's been flying around on the four before, and the other day there were some motorbikes on it. Joe actually got a video from his house over there off the top of the roof, but you can see it now in rows, just is quite dry. It's a volunteer wheat in it, we'll knock them out. Um, but yeah, you can see it here now. This is all rape, there it is. There, see in a row, you can't really see because of my shadow, can you? okay get this grass weed sprayed out of it as well but looks all right i think desperate for a drink but looks fairly healthy i'll show you the video of the motorbikes on it that joe got anyway you can see how dry it is off the video by the dust that they're kicking up On my way to the combine as well, and I've just stopped and I'm on the T7. But for some reason, some of the lights are doing that. Must be something to do with the indicators. Seems to be a fault on this trailer with the left hand indicator, and that'll explain why I was waiting to turn left. Everyone was just turning in front of me because they must have thought I was flashing them in. It's like Gordon's washed my windows, John's filling up with diesel, that's ready to go. Gordon's going to put the header on and we are off about a 40 minute road trip and then get cutting. Something tells me that camera's wobbling. Better bolt that back on before it damages the wires. <clears throat> John's just going to back under now with the mobile platform. Some straw off this. Got to unbolt this as well because it's bent and it keeps catching underneath the header. So I'll take this off and use the bolt side of it. Camera back on. Just clean it while I'm doing it. I don't know why the bolts come out of that. It's come out of that bracket up there. That should do now. I just think it's incredible that this machine can go along at seven kilometers an hour, pulling in all that wheat, taking 70 tons of wheat off the straw and spin it out at the back. I mean, I know it's got like 600 horsepower to do it, but how fast and efficient must that process be in there? Hey up, it's 1950 here. A throwback. According to the combine, it's 32 degrees outside. The wheat is coming off at 
3 crawl point 5 percent moisture I'm just sitting at about 44 tons an hour uh, 9 ton crop we did have it up to about 60 ton before in the straighter runs but this field's a bit of no good shape as most of them always seem to be got four of them caught in today because it's quite a long haul so Joe and Gordon on T7s Gordon's got one of our trailers on Joe's got one of the uh, daily trailers on Bill's on one of the other New Hollands and John is on the John Deere enough. so yeah it's about an hour and a half round trip just about keeping up got a few field changes today a few header on and offs but it's 160 acres it would have been nice to get it all done in a day but I don't think we will because of the amount of times we're going to be changing the header but we'll try or we'll try and get all sort of like this way on done and then we'll move over the main road for tomorrow perhaps we'll see how we get on we'll just keep pushing just wiping the mirrors off because I can't see there's that much dust stuck to them in the windows and then I'm going to go and blow the engine bay off Just look at that Look at them quality t-shirts available online Oh my, comes with its own airline Here you can get all the dust off everything Finished 64 acres. So we're gonna it's quarter to four. Just quickly drop the header off, move to two other blocks, and uh, there's about 40 acres there. And then we'll just see how we get going, see if we can get most of it done. Just off down this track through what was the old railway line and some blocks of wheat over there. Don't know if John realised just how close that was. It's a nightmare cutting this field because there's two sets of telegraph wires wires going across it. So you have to pick where you empty. Fleet of New Orleans today. Two over there. Gordon on the other one there. There you go. I don't know when this had been on fire, but um, luckily it didn't take the rest of the field with it. Just a little bit less to cut, I suppose. All that fence post look burnt. Yeah, it was definitely lucky that the wind must have been blowing that way. Not over all that. This field's got a pile in as well. It's how, how low the wires are drooping. Can't really see the bottom one, but we'll have to get a bit of out of the tank and swing back in quick before we get to there. This is like a funny little square. I don't know whether I can zoom and show you, but I'm just going to cut it in the opposite direction because we're chopping it anyway, so it doesn't matter about. Not like there's going to be a bailer bouncing across the tram lines. Sun's going down now, we're just going to drop the header off again, move to the next block. 104 acres we've cut so far, and it's half eight at night, so we'll just keep going, see if we can get it all done. Yesterday's quiz question, the little ball bearings were five pence each. How amazing is that? A little plastic thing I needed was 30 quid, so bargain. So everyone says class parts of day, well they're not. We have just pulled into another block now, it's around 45 acres so if we get this done we'd have done about 150 acres today but anyway that is it for today for the videos because we're uploading while on the film that is today's birthdays hope you can read them
happy birthday everyone on the window and anyone whose birthday is that isn't on the window and i will see you all tomorrow but if we're still going later on i will do a live video i was going to say i'll do it at nine o'clock but it's nine o'clock now i might do it later on maybe 10 ish something like that let's just see how we get going thanks for watching see you tomorrow